Hello, I'm Louise Morgan. I'm a visual artist and I've been painting for at least 20 years. I paint with oils and various other media, particularly work around Ogwen area and Bethesda. There are several artists which inspired my work. Firstly, Turner, because of the elemental nature of his paintings, the light in them. I wanted to try and use some of his techniques he uses to catch the elemental nature of the landscape and also the light. Also, more recently, um, Peter Pendergast. I enjoy constructing the landscape. The drawing is very, very important first because you have to get the scaffolding for the, for the painting. I was interested in art really from childhood. My father was a painter and I used to watch him painting oil paintings in the lounge. Um, he'd go out and look at the landscape and he'd, he'd do it from memory, paint some um, with the oils, which were very smelly <laughs> in the lounge. And my mother used to get very, very angry about the smell and she wanted to sort of ban him from the painting in the house. But the thing that really interested me as well as a child is light. I've always noticed how light lands on objects. If you get sunlight and muscle and stone, it looks almost golden. And that really inspired me to go into painting. I just wanted to reproduce that light. Also, a lot of my work is, is inspired by poetry. Welsh poetry in particular. Waldo Williams is one of my favourite Welsh poets. R.S. Thomas, um, some of his work, because it talks they talk of the landscape and how it relates to emotion and um, longing. This, this painting is a painting of Fairy Glen. When I go to start an artwork, I'll go to the place generally and sketch it to get the feel for the place. And one particular day I went there and it was beautiful sunshine. And the sun was shining through the top of the gorge onto the bottom of the water. And you could see the rocks lit up by the sun. It was like pure gold. And I just loved it. And I thought, that really lifts my heart. I want to, want to paint, I want other people to experience what I've just experienced. Um, and really, this has taken me four years in total to do because there's lots of layers of oil. I struggled with perspective to start with because the light is coming in from the top of the um, gorge. You've also got to make the gorge look like it's going away from you. And also you've got to look, give it some height to make it look convincing, to make you feel as if you're actually standing in the water of the glen. So I've had to do a lot of tricks in order to, to do that. Um, lots of layers of paint and using um, a mica in my paint which gives a slight more um, sparkle. And although I struggled with it, I'm quite pleased with the results. What I'd like to say is please take time to look at the poetry um, that's associated with the paintings, because it does actually give you a feel of where I'm coming from, and also stand back from the paintings, because the more you stand back, the more feeling you get of the landscape being large, wide, which is what I'm trying to depict is the hugeness and vastness of the landscape and how, as human beings, we are transient in that landscape. And we should respect the environment. Oran is a fantastic place to visit for anyone. There's something for everyone here, for children, old people. You've got the art galleries to start with, um, which you've got permanent collections, Coffin and Tony Cliff. You've got um, the regular art exhibition in this gallery, which changes every six weeks or so. You've also got a great cafe, really lovely cakes and food. <laughs> and also you've got a, a, a very nice retail shop which sells gifts, which are really quite nice. <laughs>